Hey everybody, Quint Lears in Orlando, Florida at the Best Home Building Practices Summit. I'm here with Jack Nolte, the Executive Director of Homes for Hope. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me, Quint. Listen, man, how's the, pre how's the conference been for you so far? Oh, fantastic to be able to meet with some of the best builders in America that are really learning the best ways to manage their businesses so that they can build great homes for, for good folks. And, and um, I'm really excited about Homes for Hope. Um, I want you to share about that. And you were one of the keynote presenters. Talk, talk to our audience about what you spoke on today and what is Homes for Hope. Yeah, well, it's simple. Uh, these home builders, they do what they do best, which is build homes every day. And so occasionally they'll build one and they'll call it a home for hope. They'll sell it to somebody like you or, or me. Uh, and then they'll take the profits from that home and then pour that into our ministry. And then we take that and make small business loans for people all around the globe. People that are living in extreme poverty. People that are living on less than a couple of dollars a day. Tell me a story about the impact that your organization has made. Hmm. Okay. So... Um, I'm thinking about a client, actually. Can I share that with you? That intimate. Okay, so there's a client that I met. Her name was Bienvenida. Uh, she lives in the Dominican Republic. And when I met her, I asked her how her life had changed uh, after being a part of the Homes for Hope and Hope International program that we have down there. And she said, Jack, um, I was living on less than a few dollars a day. Um, she told me that you know she was married at the age of 13. She had her first child at the age of 14. That child passed away, probably something very preventable. But because when you live in poverty, you don't have access to the resources to have the medicines that you need. Uh, she had three more kids. Her and her husband were doing kind of okay. And then Hurricane George hits her island on her 21st birthday, kills 384 people, and she moves inland. That's where I meet her. And I ask her, well, how do you survive? How do you make it? She said, well, it was very tough. Uh, my mother taught me a chicken recipe, some spices, and I'd literally get up in the morning, go take what little money I had, go into town, purchase the chicken, bring it back to the roadside, and cook that and sell it. And then repeat that process throughout the day, hoping that by the end of the day, I could have another couple dollars to buy another chicken that day and feed my family one meal. Her life was that way every day. If a kid gets sick, she has to think about whether or not she risks what capital she has, a couple dollars, to buy medicine or hope the child gets better. That's what the people that we help experience daily. That's their life. Well, we go in and we provide her with a small loan along with another group of hardworking entrepreneurs just like her. And then she's able to take her business and let's say it's as simple as not having to close five times to go buy more chicken. Let's say it's being able to be open all day long. Well, that can generate a lot more revenue. And from that revenue, she's able to provide for her family. So One Home for Hope helps 2,000 Bienvenidas typically. And so that's it. So One Home, how many estimated, rough guess, has Home for Hope helped over the years? Um, say that one more time. How many, how many um, families has Homes for Hope helped? Okay, so one of the real exciting things about the conference this year was that I unveiled a number. Okay, so because four years ago, uh, Bob Witt and Bob Schultz invited me to come in and deliver a keynote, and they've invited me back since every year. And through that, I've met home builders that have built Homes for Hope. So there's been six of them that have been involved in this program in the last four years. Well, right now, we're able to help 33,000 families each year because of the Homes for Hope that they have built. And who are some of the builders? Let's honor them that have uh, contributed and been a part of the program. Yeah, absolutely. So, Beta Beach Builders, Derek and Carla Parker. I mean, if you're not uh, working with those guys, you really should. Uh, another one is Key Homes out of Kentucky. Another one is Sean Forth Homes out of Oklahoma. Verity Homes out of, out of North Dakota. Uh, Providence Homes here, right here in Jacksonville, Florida. And, so, and then Winslow Homes. They're one of our newest home builders, and they're in Youngsville, North Carolina. So uh, let's say a builder wants to get a lot of these builders, I want to give back. They don't know what to do. Number one, how do they contact you? We'll, we'll put the URL up. But... Do you help them know how to do this process? Oh, absolutely. So what we do is we provide them with all the materials that they need in order to have a successful process. Um, our process is, is a little different from most charities. We say do what you do the way you do it and don't change a thing. Take a house that you're used to building, 
build that house, issue purchase orders just like you've always done. Nothing changes in your system. The only difference is you take the proceeds instead of pouring them into your company, you make that donation to Homes for Hope and then we put that into the hands of those who need it. Um, but it's real simple. Give us a call. Say, hey, I want to do this. And then we walk through that process with you. We provide you all the collateral that you need. We even, if you've attended this show, we provide a video. We have a video team go out and do a video so that you can share your heart uh, with those that um, are going to be helping you in the process. We do all kinds of things like that. And so we make it super easy. And, uh, yeah, it's great. Well, we're excited to, you know, to feature you on the program. I'm going to encourage, if there's a builder watching, contact Jack. Check yeah, out homesforhope.org and um, keep making an impact. Any last words? Yeah, please. Yeah, and thanks so much for watching. Guys, we're, we're trying to make a positive impact in the lives of other people to, in fact, change the destiny of people's lives in a positive way. Jack, you're doing that big time. Thanks for all you do. You bet. Thank you. It's good to meet you.